All right, so in the last video, I talked about how Feanor had been banished um, because he had drawn a sword uh, against his half-brother, uh, Fingolfin. And um, so he's all pretty angry and everything, and, um, and he is at his stronghold that he built uh, in the northern parts uh, outside of the city. Um, uh, and uh, Melkor comes up to him, to his gates, and he's like, hey, see, I told you that all this stuff was going to happen, and you look at you banished and everything. And, um, and Feanor was just thinking, okay, can I trust him? Can he help me with this? Like, what's going to happen? Um, but then Melkor uh, talked about, he mentioned the Silmarils. He said, the Silmarils will never be safe while they're here. No treasury can hold them. Uh, and so Feanor kind of saw through his, uh, um, you know, through his treachery and trickery and everything and, and saw that that's really what he wanted. So he said, you better get out of here. Um, he said, get out of my gates. And it's actually, I don't have my book with me right now, but it's a pretty cool line. It talks about how Feanor closed the door in the face of the mightiest of, uh, of the valor um, right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, Tolkus and Orme were uh, looking for Melkor, but they couldn't find him. Um, and he just withdrew to the north, um, and he's just, uh, just hiding out, biding his time for his, uh, when he's going to, you know, attack. Uh, anyway, we'll get into that pretty soon. So that's the Silmarillion bit for today. Uh, Stephen Colbert, I'd like to talk about Silmarillion and Middle-earth and uh, Tolkien and all that good stuff. So please hit me up. All right.